I, like many of you, love when content creators are not afraid to tell you how they're getting their content. So the content creator is mounting all of his electronics on an MDF board, which, as many of you already know, is a massive fire hazard. This is and because, of course, as I've stated in many previous videos, God forbid something ever happens. You are then using the proper substrate for an electrical enclosure. Number one, it would be up to code. And number two, if an insurance inspector ever came in, God forbid that there was a fire, you would get paid. Think about what I'm saying. I do not know why these guys continuously are doing this. And the main thing you need to consider when building your CNC production robot is that, because it's not just you, it's your family and anyone else that's around you. These wood routers are nothing more than a huge fire hazard. So much so, I'm not going to just say it, I'm going to show you some more proof. Emergency, I don't think I've adequately expanded on what that means. So let me start off by saying that I too almost suffered from a rapid unscheduled conflagration. So although it really pains me to edit this video, let's dissect my near disaster. Back in January, I was cutting a batch of oak pieces for an award plaque, Project 110 for those of you keeping track. I had a stable workflow established, load a plank of wood, clamp it down, hit run, come back 40 minutes later, repeat. I got complacent. I was using two clamps, and having failed to tighten one of them sufficiently, my wooden stock began to move. As it moved, it caused the machine to lose steps. My shape boko started drifting further and further off course. Eventually, it freed itself from the stock and started moving over the open wasteboard where there was nothing in the way except for a clamp. And of course, my shape boko went straight for it. The end mill went head to head against the metal in the clamps, making a rather nice shower of sparks. Had I not had a dust boot keeping my work area clean, there would have been a high risk of ignition. 